all of Schultz fought because of the energy crisis. And in fact, the CDU party, the right wing party, was also promoting the war in Ukraine. So, and Olaf Scholz was actually skeptical at first, but somehow he just gave in because everyone was promoting that war in Ukraine, especially the German news that is heavily affected and influenced by the right wing party. So I think Olaf Scholz should have known better because it's his country, right? He should have known that the media in this country is not 100% on his side. So he needs to be very careful and what we are going to start to see right now is the fact that a lot of eu leaders including the uk as well and the other global economies will start to bag for oil countries that are operating in a much worse agenda than russia is this is something that we should be really concerned about things that terrorism human traffic child labor countries that promote human execution such as iran right now these are the places where countries will start to go in the back for oil by no means i'm saying that russia is a perfect country we have to first think and analyze the situation before we take any economic and political decisions we have to think really wisely put everything on the table and wait a couple of weeks and months to make a position. It requires much more than feelings and bias and personal ideologies or friends or the news ideologies. Most of the time, government oppositions influence their media news outlets and they have their own agenda deceive the current government and they will make sure that the public will start to revolt against the government and this is what we're going to start to see right now with the cost of living crisis the energy crisis in europe i'm mean, talking specifically about germany that people will start to revolt because basically everything is expensive inflation is up the roof and we're gonna probably we're gonna have to ration energy gas and this is a major reason for concern and the people will start have to ration it anyhow because they're not going to be able to afford their energy sources and also the cost of living crisis you know inflation is really high everything's really expensive even if the government gives the population grant it means it's not going to offset because everything else is really expensive it's not going to cover up all the costs that the population has and this is what the right-wing government will channel now. They will channel into this cost of living crisis, which was actually, in fact, created by them. The German government just got into the government, just got into power, which means that, by the way, the previous government, the CDU party, is directly responsible for the mess that we're living right now. But they will use the government's position, which is support the war in Ukraine, to fight against it and it twist and manipulate in a way that people will actually connect the war in Ukraine with the current government, connect the cost of living crisis with the current government, connect the energy crisis with the current government. This is the issue that we're facing nowadays. We have to be really, really careful in taking premature positions in terms of war and conflicts because the entire European population will suffer out of that. And when every single news is talking about a position that you have to take, in this sense, all of shows, it is a time to reflect, it's a time to weigh and step backwards and let everything sink in and take logical decisions, any strategic decisions that will benefit the population, not my ego, not people's ego, not what the news media outlets want a politician to do. There's so much at stake and we're going to see that now in this winter because it's going to get cold, it's already a lot colder and people start to feel that their pockets are a lot empty, they have less money for everything else, they're not going to be able to budget for their basic food consumption, they're going to have to pay so much more for energy they're going to end up not having power and we're going to have to, you know, have power cuts. And all of that will be few for the right wing party, the conservative party in Germany to plot a 
massive campaign against the, the AMPO, the current government, and it will start to split it. And you're already seeing a lot of things that they are trying to split the AMPO coalition because of that. They took the wrong positions just in the beginning of their government and everything was a setup. Everything was like a trap. There was carefully built and designed by the CDU party together with the help of the news media outlets that has led to the situation that we are in right now. If you're a politician watching this, think carefully before you take any decisions. Things are really complex in terms of politics. My personal opinion, it is not going to be what I'm going to apply in real life. If I ever become a politician, what I think about something is something that's personal to myself. What I'm going to do is what's the best for my country, for my population. And this is what you have to do. It is a tricky situation that we are living in right now. Things are really complex and the majority of the politicians don't have the awareness, the knowledge, the mind and the intelligence, quite honestly, to implement the right policies that will benefit the population. And there are a lot of them that are corrupted as well. They will only do things to benefit themselves. That's another topic for another video. And if you all have shows is watching this video, pay a lot of attention to the German news media outlets. They are not there to help your government. They have been corrupted for many, many years already. So watch out carefully because they will try to deceive you, I promise you. <laughs>